these you know, handful of, of swing states. And the other problem that people see, which is maybe more of a practical problem, is mm -hmm. that the red states are not, there are no red states that have signed on. And until they start um, getting a few, they're not going to get to their 270 number. Because we, we, uh, I had asked you earlier um, today, is, is it a Democratic thing or Republican? And you said it's 60% on both sides. Right. It isn't, right. It's you know, one of the few bipartisan yes. um, issues of the day that everyone, uh, at least over 60% yeah. of Republicans and Democrats agree that they should get rid of the Electoral College. But they don't necessarily say then what they would replace it with other than the, a direct popular mm -hmm. vote, which that would be a more democratic approach for sure, uh, but presents issues as well if you can think about how would you um, mount a national campaign if you were then forced to travel much of the country, which would be, uh, I think, a boon to the voters. Right. But um, could the candidate would have to go to 50 states? states. Well, right. or they yeah, would, right. like I said before, target yeah. just certain regions where they could get the most votes with the fewest number of mm -hmm. stops. But I think people really want uh, people really want to see the candidate. Yes, I think we, they feel absolutely. cheated. Like I think in Illinois, when we I keep see, hearing the candidates are traveling to the other states, and and I keep saying I want to see the candidates. You right. know, I want to talk That's to them. I want to have a chance to ask questions and talk with the candidate. And um, so I think you know you, you kind of feel cheated. But I see. We are ending our show right now, and there's still so much to talk about. And Julie, I'm so glad you came on because at least you gave our, my viewers, myself, and everyone else that really can help understand the electoral process of government. And this is something that we need to understand because we, when you understand something, you understand about your vote much clearer. So again, I want to thank it's you for pleasure. coming you. and invite you back again when, you know, when, when it gets changed. Okay. Yes. If we, if we ever get a change, I want you to come back and let's talk about the Electoral College again and how it got amended and if it got amended, you know, and according to uh, polls that we have ta you have taken in your class.